This is a cross-sectional view showing PTO drivetrain on a single clutch Fordson major tractor. Shown in the red circle is the PTO driven gear. In the next red circle is the PTO shaft. PTO idler gear assembly. Primary lower gear. Main drive shaft. Number one cover plate. Number two gasket. Number three snap ring. Number four bearing. Number five snap ring. Number six driven gear. Number seven snap ring. Number eight bearing. Number nine idler gear. Number 10 spacer. Number 11 housing. Number 12 idler shaft. Number 13 O ring. Number 14 snap ring. Number 15 bearing. Number 16 snap ring. Number 17 PTO drive shaft. Number 18 oil seal. Number 19 shift fork. Number 20 set screw. Number 21 gasket. Number 22 shift cover. Number 23 shift rail. Number 24 seal. Number 25 detent ball. Number 26 detent spring. Number 27 snap ring. Number 28 hydraulic pump drive. Number 29 snap ring. Number 30 woodruff key. Number 31 output shaft. Number 32 snap ring. Number 33 bearing. Number 34 sleeve. Number 35 oil seal. Number 36 gasket. Number 37 bearing support. Schematic diagram of Fordson Super Major hydraulic system in the neutral position. Auxiliary service control. Auxiliary services feed. Flow control valve restrictor. Check valve. Pump pressure relief valve. Ram cylinder. Flow control valve. Lift piston. Unloading valve plug. Ram cylinder safety valve. Control valve spring. Unloading valve. Control valve. Reservoir. Return filter. Hydraulic pump. Back pressure valve. Suction filter. Magnetic filter. We shall uh, break down the pump in parts for the Fordson Major Diesel, this being the early style of pump, just coming up after this. The parts are as follow. Number one is a nut. Number two is a locking washer. Number three is a gear. Number four is the housing. Five is an o-ring. Six is an o-ring. Seven is an o-ring. Eight is the rear bearings. Nine is the locking spring. Ten is the wood rough key. 
11 is the drive gear, 12 is the driven gear, 13 is the front bearings, 14 is locking springs, 15 is the ceiling ring, 16 is a relief plate, 17 is O-rings, 18 is O-rings, 19 is a pressure plate, 20 is a mounting bracket, 21 is a dowel pin, 22 is a check ball, usually mid, 23 is an O-ring, 24 is a cap screw with magnetic tip, 25 is a drain plug, 26 is a gasket, 27 is a screen cover, 28 is a suction screen, 29 is a gasket, 30 is the pump base, and 31 is a gasket. Coming up next is the later style hydraulic pump in the later tractors like the Super Major. Number one is a nut, number two is a locking washer, number three is a drive gear, number four is a snap ring, number five is a seal, number six is a washer, number seven is the rear cover, number eight ceiling ring, number nine is the hydraulic pump body, number ten is the rear bearing, Number 11 is the Woodruff key. Number 12 is the drive shaft and gear. Number 13 is the driven gear. Number 14 is the front bearing. Number 15 is the ceiling ring. And finally 16 is the mounting bracket. Flat washer. Seal. Bearing. Lift cylinder arm. Filler plug. Gasket, cover, gasket, lift shaft, oil passage plug, lift cover, return oil pipe, cylinder, a ring, piston, seal, retainer, cap screw, a ring, pressure pipe, gasket, piston rod, spacer. Now we'll have a look at the hydraulic control lever for the diesel major and the power major. Control lever. A ring. Quadrant. Gasket. Control link. Control valve spool. Lever return spring. Cam follower. Valve lever. Lever support. Gasket. Rate of lower stop. Lever guide. We missed this one, it's just a cover. Uh, it'd be good if you, whoever watches this would let me know if they like this type of video. These videos are a lot harder to make than just the video videos. It's about 9 hours for half an hour on YouTube when it's just footage, but on here you probably 50 to 60 hours to do one of these. I was going to do the super major hydraulics but they have got 140 parts in them let me know if you want one